Wow, this seeing comfy. And I have bought this software and I just ignore this little bit here. Yeah, anyway, went on a drive today, went ended up in Bempton doing a photo shoot with Danny. Uh, not taking a picture of Danny, he's a photographer himself, like. Uh, and we went in this field that was here, um, climbed over this bad way, I thought I was actually going to get hurt. And there's this normal path, there's loads of photographers there. Um, normal Tom, Dick and Harry shot, you know, just midline, sky and all that business. But I just thought I'd show you a little tutorial in Lightroom itself. I think it's going to be his first, his first, yeah first selection of all the Lightroom tutorials that I'm going to be doing um, brief little show of the interface itself after the top right is your histogram of all the different lighting settings of colours and things like that down the right is where all the magic happens like your saturation, your colour boost, your clarity, your vibrance red, your blue, your human saturation, your detail, lens correction, etc and all that to the left here there will be, there would have been where I am a little picture of this basically just to make sure you don't forget what you're doing Good one, that room. Um, to the right, to the left, sorry, obviously, all your presets if you make your own presets, that is. You can download and the presets, but they're normally pretty poor. Um, to the bottom, this is why I like, room, like Lightroom, is because all your photos would line up right along here. Exporting is amazing because you select one watermark, select them all, control A if you're on PC, done, boom. Right, a little brief overstatement of my settings. I was shooting on the Nikon D90, 18 to 105 VR kit lens. Kit lens, Ugh, not people normally cringe, but it's a nice sharp lens. Yeah, I was shooting a 125 to 2500 of a second at f9 at 800 ISO. Ideally, I could have brought that to 400 really. Still been over a thousand there, but anyway, forget about that. Picture itself taken. Right, so I've shot in RAW, obviously never shoot in JPEG, there's some JPEG shooters still out there. You need to like see the bright side in life, obviously the JPEG file compresses very heavy. You obviously don't capture all detail or anything like that, or the file. Anyway, watch Jared Poland, Jared Poland, thronosphotos.com. His stuff's really good. He explains about RAW and JPEG and all that. Anyway, yeah, so to the right, obviously got all your commands and settings and things down there. I'm just going to give a quick edit of this if you're going to take notes. If you don't copy it, all the settings that I'm doing, tweak them for yourself. Obviously, what looks good, use it. The first thing I want to do is, oh, sorry, do that, is pump this fill light to around 50. A lot of people are questioning me saying why you put fill light on an already light photo. It's just personally, if you had fill light, then the blacks, it just normally works. So you add the blacks and then a boom. Hello. A lot of contrast. I like my contrast quite heavily. Not too much of that. Depends what you're going for. I want this to look kind of fake in a way. Clarity, obviously, less clarity is like soft. More clarity, it just brings everything out. And then it looks too, it looks borderline HDR, what I don't want. So I bring that clarity down. Obviously, if I'm in saturation, take the saturation down, it's black and white. Push it right up, it looks absolutely awful. Depends what you're going for. So I'll leave that as it is there. Plus one. Bit more vibrance in the picture. Trying to go over the top because it looks fake. That's what you go for, like. Um, so I'm going to leave as it is. You don't really need all this. Now I'm going to zoom in. As you can see, it's a tight. When it starts to fall over, it's a tiny bit grainy. Shot 800 ISO in broad daylight. It's my mistake. Shouldn't obviously shoot that high, really. Could have got away with none, pretty much. So I'm just going to go to detail. Obviously a lot of this green is luminance green, so I'm just going to go down to noise reduction luminance, pump that up a tiny bit. 50 is cool. Go on the added 50, just softens up. Ooh, no, it's still softening it. Softens the whole image as such. Going to go back to the top. And over here you got a few things, like you got your crop, or the spot remover, your red eye correction, and your gradient filter, so as your brushes. I'm just going to select your gradient filter. Oh, make sure I've zoomed out the image first, that would be a good start, Josh. There we are, so gradient filler. I feel the sky is nice as it is, but I just want a bit more blue in it, so I'm bringing that right down. It's uh, around about... There we are, that's cool. Now I'm just going to bring the exposure down to bring out the blues. It's a bit too much of that. Whoa, 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 whoa.
Right. Remember, don't copy my sentence. Just do what you feel best. A bit more contrast in there. Set it off. Right. I'm liking the look of that as it is. Now what I'll do is split turning. Right. A lot of people get come confused what split turn actually is. It's just basically adding the hue and saturation to either the highlights or the shadows. Um, if we had like a yellowy one to the highlights, not screen, Josh. So a yellowy one like that. Then we'll balance it out by getting a blue one for the shadows. Too much, Josh. Still too much. Pump them up. Right, I'm kind of liking that, but it's too heavy, so I'm going to bring the balance down. a bit less in that situation. Right, I'm liking that. It in to everyone's taste as they can probably imagine, but I like it personally. That's the main basic setting for the show before and after. My PC wakes up. That's what you got before and after. So it's just showing how simple Lightroom can be. Obviously just turn a few sliders left and right and a few gradient fillers split turning. Jobs are good on so that's typical Tom Dick and Arrow Tourist shop. Bit more edited. So that's probably it really. As you can see it's going a bit crazy in the histogram up there. But yeah, make sure you subscribe for more tutorials. Sweet!